Hi there, welcome to Life Unscripted with Coach Kanye. I am Coach Kanye. Listen, you know what to do, pause, subscribe, hit the like button so you know when we have new content on here. Today, I just kind of wanted to tell you about who I am. Can I do that? A lot of the times, people confuse what I do with therapy, and I just wanted to take time today to give you a bit of the differences between life coaching and therapy. Um, and I will actually be using my experience as a life coach and also just sharing with you um, the type of transformation that my clients go through. Oh, but let a girl get comfortable. Shit. What the what's going on? My booty ain't sitting properly on this pillow. Um, so, hi. <laughs> I got distracted. The difference between what, what are the main separation points between therapy and coaching? Number one, therapy, and I want to focus on talk therapy. There are so many different types and modes of therapy, but I kind of want to just focus. Oh, I burped. <laughs> Sorry, human. Um, the main difference where with therapy is therapy is where you go into the past and you figure out your trauma, right? You go in within yourself and your therapist and you really dig into your trauma because our trauma defines us, sadly. Our trauma is usually the vintage point through which we see life, especially if we don't heal from it, especially when we are not aware of it. Our triggers, everything that we do, how we respond, all of it, a lot of the times it is attached to our trauma. So in therapy, you are going back with your therapist, you are figuring out like, why am I like this? What happened to me? It takes you from the present to the past so that you can understand the present and you can understand yourself. The difference with coaching, coaching is about taking you from where you are and getting you to take action to go towards where you want to be. So for me, the best way I say it is like, Coaching is such action-oriented work where I come in and I kind of like float between the both of these is my undergraduate degree is in psychology. I have a master's degree in um, social sciences um, and I'm a certified counselor as well and a certified life coach. And my ability to tap into just kind of a little bit, I'm never going to say I do therapy with my clients, is I understand that there is a reason for why you are here. If you're struggling with limiting beliefs, I understand that, the, that there's, a, there's a root to the belief. You don't just believe that. And so what I'm able to do with my clients is like, tell me who told you that. Let me understand the trauma so that I can know as we're working around it, how to help you, how to say, hey, you know this story is not true. You know this belief that you hold here is not true, but we also understand that it comes from grandma, right? Grandma struggled, this is my story, grandma struggled, grandma, you know, had this like really difficult relationship with money. So I understand that my beliefs about money were created at a very, very young age. And so I am able to tap into that with my clients. If my clients struggle with repeating the same patterns in relationships, I go, where is the wound? What are we trying to deal with this pattern? Are we trying to heal a mother wound? Are we trying to heal a father wound, right? I, and I say that with, and I'm using this a lot because I get people who come to me and they say, coach, can you, I want you to help me with my trauma. And those people I say, I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm not the one. Let's find you a therapist. And when you feel like you've done all the therapy and now you're ready to take action, I'm, I'm the one for you. I have clients who do both coaching and therapy at the same time and it works. Oh, it works so beautifully. Like sometimes I'm like, I just want to go and hug your therapist because we're able to say together, you can be different. And although the talk therapy is like, you can be different. I'm like, how can I hold you accountable? That's another big part of coaching. My one-on-one -on -one clients have my personal phone number and those who don't live in the States, whether it's Europe or South Africa or wherever, they have my WhatsApp number because big part of the coaching client relationship is you being able to have access to me. 
so that I can hold you accountable. I have clients who have come to me for weight loss and not for weight loss, sorry. They come to me for mindset, they come to me for to overcome people pleasing and we actually end up working on themselves and they're like actually will you hold me accountable as i lose weight i need to lose x amount for this and this and this and that becomes part of our accountability so they're at the gym sending me photos sending me photos of their meal prep all of that stuff and what i love about being a coach is i can be in my clients like entire lives because you are a holistic human being and what I understand is like, if you people please in your relationships, chances are, this is not for everyone, but chances are you people please at work too. You people please in every single relationship because you don't know how to be authentic. And so some of my clients have worked around it. I don't know how, where they can be like, I'm gonna people please at work, but I'm very authentic in my relationships. And we dig into how they were able to do that. I don't know if that will resonate with you too. But I just really, really wanted to kind of like have you sit, babes, like what journey do I need to be on? Do I need therapy? Do I need to go back and understand my trauma? Do I need to go back and like look at my shadows, right? Like look at the things that have harmed me and how do I behave in ways that manifest that hurt? Some of us that hurt shows up a lot in romantic relationships a lot because romantic relationships are going to be the mirror that we hold and they're going to say hey 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 this is a trauma bond and that's what a therapist will go through with you all right um and before i leave you today i don't like i don't want you sitting here for an hour listening to me but i also wrote books and my first one is called traveling while black and lesbian I have been traveling for the past, maybe I should do a separate video for this, but I've been traveling for the past 14 years and part of my journey towards coaching has been so directly connected to the travel. I understood the power of authenticity when I started traveling. I understood the power of human connection when I started traveling, the beauty of our world, the beauty of what makes us human beings. I, and I put it all in this book. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be traveling again next year. So while I'm traveling, I'm gonna be writing the second one. But if you don't know where to get this, I'm going to link it in the description um, where you can get it if you're in South Africa. I think Take A Lot, um, Take a Lot has it uh, and Amazon definitely has it. And then my second book is actually a self-development book. I am so proud of this baby. So I'm like very proud of this baby. This is my second book and it is my first self-development book. I wrote this because I was like, I read a lot of self-development work and a lot of the times they don't speak to my blackness. They don't speak to my queerness. They don't speak to my experiences as an African woman. And that's not to say I experience life differently, but it is so beautiful sometimes to just see yourself in a, in a book, you know, to see yourself be so clearly represented. So I was like, I'm going to do that. And what I love about this book too is like at the end of every single chapter, I am giving you journaling prompts. You are reflecting on what you just read because I don't believe that knowledge is power. I believe that applied knowledge is power. And so this is my second book. It's also on Amazon, definitely on Take A Lot. I know that for a fact. But if you have any questions and if this has been clear to you and now you're like, oh, I think I need life coaching or I think I need to start with something small like journaling. And I think I need to start with a workbook community. I'm going to add everything that I have that you can go and dig into in the description and there'll also be a calendar on there if you want to book yourself a one-on-one -on -one session please do that and i can't wait to connect with you but whatever it is that you choose to do whatever it is that you choose to do whether therapy or life coaching do something and i love you and be tender and kind to yourself